Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another War of the Visions video, and it is dark and early. On Monday morning, we've got King Bradley, my new main character for my account, because we got the same name. We got the same name, and he's really cool. Anyway, he's coming out this week. Let's check out what's happening. We will start with the man himself. So here's King Bradley. Again, full preview video on him coming out tomorrow, along with the rest of the stuff coming this week. But, um, Fear of Amestris? Amestris? Amistress. Okay, words. That That's his new main job. Then Operative Trick Lancer. So good mix in of the damage type right there. He's cost 100. A lot of people say this guy is like maybe better than Sephiroth. He is top of the JP tier list for sure. Let's do a quick preview here and then full video with him and the rest of the stuff coming out tomorrow. So Limit Break. Raise his own slash and resist piercing rate for three turns. That deals three hit large damage and raises CT. Double Rend is a defense piercing rate. Then two hit at high accuracy, large damage, and an AoE at long range, I might add. And then Blink of an Eye, this is a buff for his group that raises Pierce and Missile Resist. Also gives him a reaction attack like Sephiroth's, where he can um, preemptively counterattack a physical attack. So really cool. Um, like I said, full preview video coming out for him tomorrow. He'll have a bingo board. His job is the only new job. He's the only EX job. Now, there are some transcendences coming out. Obviously, Bradley's getting one, but Urel getting her 140 right alongside him. So another Earth unit getting that 140. Curry, Lorenzo, and Adelard for MR units. Murmur and Phoebe. Oh my gosh, excuse me, for SR units. Whoa. Oh, dark and early. And Zazan, an in rarity unit, getting that upgrade. So there we go. Next up, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Collaboration Part 3 Campaigns. What's going on here? Login bonuses. So, again, note the scrolls. Day 7 with those rainbow scrolls. Day 6 with the MR scrolls. Those are the big ones to me. Pull tickets on day 4 and 5. And then there's 2,500 viz instead of the typical 2,100. So, a pretty good login bonus there. Also, we get a second login bonus, which is some extra goodies. Once again, the big ones, in my opinion, are the Blossom and the MR scrolls. Okay, double drops for another story. So that's interesting. Another story picking up double drops and then double drops for selection quests for all elements this week. Okay, uh, da, da 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 And then guaranteed Bradley shards in the Whimsy Shop. Now, the EX quest. We are going to be able to farm Bradley's sword. So that'll be dropping. Keep farming out those metals for the metal shop. I need to cash in my metals. I've farmed a bunch of them and have not cashed them in yet. I will do that here in a minute. And I'll kind of tell you what I think the big important things to get in the shop are. You'll be able to get a plus three. Yep, the metal shop's still here like I was talking about. Bradley will have a starter quest. That's it for that. Um, guild battle map. So maps are updating. The guild battle map is going to be changing to Wastelands 3 with Earth units getting HP up. So really not the most like potent Earth buff ever, but Earth units will be a little bit harder to kill on this map. Great. And then uh, Friendly Match getting updated starting on 5-3 to Wastelands 2, Fortress 3, and Ancient Ruins 10. Uh, and then Quicken Nullify being added onto Ancient Ruins 10. Uh, this is the Heindler Cup map. So, map Ancient Ruins 10, FFB, Heindler Cup. I'll have to double check. I'm pretty sure that it... I, I thought we were playing the Heindler Cup. I'll, I'll double check this, but I believe this is the one for the PvP, the official PvP tournament. Um, I so it's, uh, it's early in the morning and off the top of my head, I can't remember. I'll just look that up. Arena. Map is changing to Fortress 3 with Earth Unit HP up as well. So a little good arena map there for Bradley. That doesn't happen for a week. The Guild Battle map happens in two days. That one happens in a week. And then Free Match Update Fortress 3 is going to be updated to the Free Match on the 8th as well. And then the last thing on the news is just the job classifications getting changed. The only thing here is that Bradley's being added to Sword, Knight, etc. Instead of Warrior, etc. Or Red Mage, etc. The best job classification system ever. Now let me go look at this Mog Shop real quick. Because I've farmed a bunch of these metals. Let me show you what I'm prioritizing getting out of the shop oh my gosh let me cash these in i forget like when you get those poles all of a sudden you you catch an extra uh, shard okay so i have 123,000 metals um obviously i think you want to pick up these owl shards all 80 of them that's a big one and for me that puts owl close really close then i'm picking up all of these scrolls i think that's the next most important thing 
that still leaves me at 63,000 even after farming like way more than the recipes I need for both the first two weapons and I still need to farm Ed's glove. Uh, so I'm going to pick up the Blossom. There's Rainbow Sphere in here. I'll pick up the Trust Stone Shards as well. And then Job Materials. I need these pink Job Materials for my unit. So actually what I'm going to do is undo that and that for now. And see if I can get all these Job Mats. I can almost get all the Job Mats. So I will revisit this after I farm Bradley stuff. This is so helpful for not having to use your generics, right? I love it when they just give you these in the shop. It's an important thing to buy. So I want to just talk about what I'm picking up in the FMA shop. Guys, that's the news video today. Again, full preview of this week's stuff tomorrow morning. I'll see you then. Peace.